I started the second day of my Round the Towers motorcycle tour by riding to the north, north of coast in the village of Titchwell. However, my first stop of the day was on a lane north of Docking Village, next to a small wood. After coffee from my flask, I was just sorting out my helmet-mounted video when I noticed some concrete hard standing amongst the trees, much overgrown with grass and moss. I pushed into the woodland to explore and notice the much rusted remains of what looked like a fuel tank and a small derelict concrete building. An internet search quickly revealed that I had stumbled across the site of an abandoned Second World War aerodrome, namely RAF docking, which was active between 1940 and 1946. What a hive of activity this place must have been during the height of the war. What bravery and what tragedy were witnessed here, in contrast to the peaceful and quiet woodland that this abandoned aerodrome has, thankfully, become. Not far from where I was parked up, I came across the memorial stone to all who served at RAF docking. From the site of the former aerodrome, I rode my Royal Enfield over the chalk uplands to Titchwell, which is on the coastal road, between the chalk uplands to the south and the salt marshes and sand dunes to the north. And what a glorious stretch of lane riding, entirely suited to my single cylinder motorcycle. This is what motorcycling is all about. Avoid the main roads where you can. Follow your own route from a map instead of obeying the instructions of a sat-nav. How thoughtless of that driver to disturb my harmony. heading north now towards the coastal road. Open chalk uplands are always a delight to ride, whether it's the downland of southern England, the wolds of Yorkshire's East Riding, or here in Norfolk.
and there is the North Sea on the horizon looking so blue and so the descent begins you can probably just make out the village of Titchwell up ahead there is the busy coastal road it's just a matter of crossing this there's what remains of the medieval village cross on the right there on the mound I'll return to this later I'll park up here next to the plumber's van. There's Titchwell's church and there is the round tower I've come to see. The tower is Saxon. At 17 feet the wall becomes slightly thinner which is a Saxon feature. The belfry stage starts with a stone string course and above that the flint work becomes straight and regular. The tall belfry openings each have double semicircular arches. This is typical of the early Norman period. So the main part of the tower is before 1066 and the belfry was added after that date. From the church, it was but a short walk back to look at the remains of that medieval stone cross. The standing crosses were used as places for preaching and public proclamation. Some marked boundaries between parishes. Crosses in marketplaces helped to validate transactions. You will probably never know the purpose of this particular cross, but whatever it was, it must have meant a lot to those people long ago took the time and trouble to erect it on this high mound. All in all it had been a great start to the second day of my Round the Towers tour. Now it was time to leave Titchwell for the next stop, back up on the chalk at Burnham Norton. For now, I'm done. <laughs>